Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Rory Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. We already know that being a super villain can be infinitely more fun than being the good guy, so you're bound to get a really awesome time when you have not just one, but a whole team of bad guys. Indeed, there are a whole bunch of really fun teams out there that, we gotta admit, kinda outshine the heroes most times. So let's take a look at the Top 10 Super Villain Teams. We have Crime Syndicate of America. These guys debuted in Justice League of America number 29 and were an alternate version of the Justice League that existed in the reverse universe of Earth 3. Members included evil incarnations of the Justice League, such as Ultraman instead of Superman and Owlman instead of Batman. They were so powerful and malicious that they were able to overthrow police forces and basically control the world, and they were totally bored with that. Coming in at number 9 is Dark Avengers. Because we have an evil Justice League, we gotta have an evil Avengers. The Dark Avengers first appeared in their own self-titled series and were a team assembled by Norman Osborn. You just know if Green Goblin's involved, it's not a good sign. After being put in charge of the Superhuman Defense Initiative, he figured he'd better recruit a new Avengers team that consisted of villains such as Dokken, Ares, and Bullseye. Don't sound like no Avengers team to me. They even masqueraded as heroes for a while, but that sure did not last long. Next at number 8 we got Hydra. Hydra is more so a terrorist organization than a supervillain team, but I think we can all agree their menacing and long-standing role as one of Marvel's meanest teams earns them a spot here. Originating in Strange Tales number 135, Hydra was headed by Arnold Brown, who was then killed off and left leadership to Baron Strucker and Red Skull, hence becoming a giant foe to Captain America. Just like their mythical name implies, no matter how many times they're cut down, they just seem to keep popping back up. In the number 7 spot is Hellfire Club. They're not just bad guys, they're bad guys with money. The Hellfire Club is literally that, an elite club. Club. First appearing in Uncanny X-Men number 129, the Hellfire Club is stocked with rich and influential members such as Celine, Emma Frost, and Sebastian Shaw. An inner circle is composed of the highest ranking members who use their place in society to pursue their own agendas, such as defeating the X-Men and starting up wars. Rich people these days. Coming in at number 6 is the Skrulls. The Skrulls have been around for a really long time, mostly because they are totally fun and creepy villains. First shown in Fantastic Four number 2, they have gone on to wreak havoc across Marvel Comics with their war against the Kree. They are a green, fierce alien race with the ability to shape shift, and they've set their sights on Earth multiple times as a place to be conquered. My advice, keep your windows closed at night. Next up at number 5 we have Masters of Evil. Another team that's been around for a long time and undergone many changes, the Masters of Evil first appeared in the Avengers number 6. They were originally a team of villains gathered by Nazi Baron Heinrich Zemo to face off against the revived Captain America. That guy's apparently f***ing off a lot of people. The Masters Masters of Evil went on through many changes in roster, which was awesome because it showcased a lot of lesser known villains. You get bored reading about Magneto over and over again. Up next in number 4 is the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. What's more fun than mutants? Evil mutants. The Brotherhood first debuted in X-Men number 4, headed by Magneto. They weren't just a team of villains who wanted to cause destruction and chaos, they were a team of villains banded together by common belief that mutants were superior to humans. Original team members included Toad, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, and Mastermind. Though the team and its ideals have shifted over the year, they remained one of the most prominent X-Men villain teams for years after. In the number 3 spot we've got Sinister Six. These guys are probably the most comprehensive team of poor Spider-Man's villains. First appearing in The Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 1, the original team is composed of big names such as Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Sandman, and Kraven the Hunter, to name a few. Villains all vying to get their hands or tentacles or claws around Spidey's throat. What makes this team great is that most of the members are easily recognizable even to the casual Spider-Man fan, making them memorable and fearsome. Whether it's in the form of the Sinister 4 or the Sinister 7 or the Sinister 12 or the Sinister 682. Coming in at number 2 is Black Lantern Corps. These guys first appeared as a team in Green Lantern Volume 4 and number 25, and they've got one of the most unique concepts for a supervillain team, scoring themselves high on the list. The team is made up of deceased characters who are recruited to make up an army to support Necron, the Lord of the Unliving. 
The most freaky thing about them is when they're under the black ring's control, they crave the hearts of those who are most emotionally affected by their resurrection. So when great grandpa rises from the dead, you'd best turn the other way. And finally, in the number one spot, we have the Suicide Squad. No matter the incarnation, the idea behind the most popular villain team around is the reason they've snagged the number one spot. Villains being forced into the roles of heroes on dangerous missions they'll probably never return from. What's not to love? The first version appeared in The Brave and Bold, number 25, without the villain concept, and then underwent a revamp to bring us all the team that we love. Now, if they could bring us a movie that we love, that would be great too. So, those were the top 10 super villain teams. Let me know in the comment section down below who is your favorite team of baddies. My name is Roy Destroya. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.